What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about low carb diets for endurance athletes. This is a topic of very intense conversation, especially on Twitter. Basically, a new study looked at race walkers. So that might sound really weird, race walking, a lot of people have never heard of it. It's what it sounds like, you walk as fast as you can and the rule is you have to have at least one foot in contact with the ground at all times. Uh, whereas with jogging, obviously your feet can leave the ground. So they were looking at elite level race walkers doing 10,000 meter walks, which I think is about six miles or so. They wanted to test if they put them on a high fat diet, how long one did it take for them to adapt to that? And two, how did that affect their performance? They found that within five or six days, their rates of fat utilization and fat oxidation were basically the same as people who had been following a low carb diet for up to 12 months. This is one of the things you hear with people who criticize low carb studies. They say, well, they weren't fat adapted. And then you, when you ask them what fat adapted or keto adapted means, and you ask them to give you a really descriptive definition, it's always a shifting of goalposts. There's never, a clear definition given. If you look at the studies by any objective measurement, meaning blood levels of ketones or how much fat they are actually burning, you become fat or keto adapted within days, within a week of following a very low carb diet. And these walkers were on less than 50 grams of carbohydrate per day. So what happened? They found that walkers who went on the low carb diet, one, had increased oxygen consumption. So this is something they find with high fat diets. It does produce more ATP, Fat produces more ATP per gram than carbohydrate. However, fat actually produces less ATP per unit of oxygen consumed. So part of oxidative respiration is you, it requires oxygen. So you actually need more oxygen, it appears, on a high fat, low carbohydrate diet. Additionally, uh, their times were slower compared to a group consuming a high carbohydrate diet. Um, I think it was like two to 3% lower and it was pretty consistent. Six out of the seven participants who went on the high fat, low carbohydrate diet, six out of seven saw a significant decrease uh, in their performance. Now, again, limitations, only seven people in that group. I'm sure the ketogenic diet fans will just tear it apart, not enough people. Well, it was statistically significant and it is in line with some other research data that we have. Now, the researchers also uh, had them eat a high carbohydrate meal, or I, th I think it was actually liquid, post race from the low carb condition and looked to see if this restored performance, you know, after a period of time. Uh, it didn't, and it did not restore normal rates of carbohydrate oxidation. Uh, so it appears that in order to get back to a more normal, uh, non-fat adapted metabolism, it takes multiple days to get out of that. So again, the utility of this, at the end of the day, guys, you can find people who do a low carb diet and are world-class, somebody like Zach Bitter, for example, an ultra endurance uh, athlete. But Zach still, even though he trains in a low carbohydrate state, he actually competes while eating quite a bit of carbohydrate. And he's talked about this uh, quite a bit, I believe. If you're going to use a low carb diet to prep for a race, the idea is you train low, compete high. You wanna make sure that you give yourself five to six days to restore your normal carbohydrate rates of oxidation so that you can properly utilize those carbohydrates for fuel during your event because, at least based on the studies we have, it appears that you get a small decline in performance. And keep in mind, these were elite athletes. Two to 3%, meh, not a huge deal. But when you're talking about elite athletes, that could be the difference between first place and 20th place. Again, the adaptation is pretty quick in both directions, but it's still probably just under a week. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Links are in the description. If you need help with nutrition, we have our educational books as well as our app link in the description. Check them out.
I'll catch you guys next week.